Good afternoon, everybody. It's me, Marcia from Kansas Misfit, and I would like to share with you what I got in the mail today. My seeds I ordered from Baker's Creek came in. So, you want to see what I got? Let's see what I got. Some of these things I hope will grow where I can have abundance, where I can share with people at the farmer's market. See what I I can't I can't even remember half the things I ordered and I they I like it because they give you a free package of seeds when you order from them as well. So let's see what we have here. We have this is free seeds, my first one for that's nice. I like this. It's um the Paris Island Cross lettuce. I can take this and make tuna salad and roll it up in there and eat that. Or spread my whatever I want on it and eat it instead of bread. Use this as bread. What's this here? Butternut. Butternut. A different kind of butternut squash. Baker's Creek heirloom seeds. Butternut. Rug. Ragosha. Violina. G-I-O-I-A. It don't show a very good picture, but that's what that is. And I will be planting all these in my garden this year. Oh, here's another one. It looks just like that. No. That says Butternut, Ragosha, Balina. This one here says Early Prolific Straight Neck. Must be squash. Same picture, but different kind of seeds. Okay. Let's see, this one here is lettuce, which I will be planting in between my broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. Then we have the Tommy Apple uh, melons, like cantaloupe, I believe. Looks like cantaloupe. One of the, some of the items I wanted to buy uh, was out of stock. And everybody's been going to be facing this, so I'm glad I got what I did get. So take what you can get and grow it and, and eat it because you don't know where your food's going to come from one of these days. Here's a white scallop. I um, don't know if that's a squash or an onion. White scallop. I don't really particularly like the picture. Everything looks the same on all these things. So we'll see what happens. Here's some Chinese multicolored spinach. I thought that's cute. I can try to sell that at the farmer's market. I'm also going to eat it. And that also will be planted around the broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbages. And that would be um, because... It will be eaten up before they get too big to cover it. Then we got some caraway. I don't know a whole lot about this. I the reason I got this is because the Stivers, Jen and, and Zach, I believe they grew this and they make things out of it for medicinal medicinal purposes. And so I'm going to give it a try and follow their channel and find out how she uses it and start making some for my family if I can get it to grow. But we'll see. That's what caraway looks like. Looks pretty. And then I have some kale. I love kale. I can juice that as well. Or I can put it in my salads. And that'll go around the broccoli and stuff as well. Here's another one of those funny ones. This is New Zealand uh, squash, uh, spinach, and they don't have a proper picture, but New Zealand spinach is what that one has. This here is Echonesia. There's no, no proper picture. I don't understand this, but Echonesia, and that's another medicinal herb. It's a flower. I'll be planting that. And 
the eggplant, Chinese string eggplant. I thought that'd be kind of cool. I mean, just put them, you don't have to worry about cutting them up. Just cut the ends off like a green bean and stick them in the pot and cook them. Yeah. I'm hoping that turns out. I like eggplant. And it's really good for you. Here's some crispy mint, which I didn't order, so it must be another free item. And it has those wacky pictures, so <laughs> we'll see what they turn out like. This here is sugar baby watermelon. My husband wants watermelon, and I like watermelon, so we got sugar baby watermelon. Which are probably planted around the corn to help keep the coons out of the corn if we can get it to grow. Fingers crossed. And then we have lemon squash. Uh, I have never grown this before. I just got it because they didn't have the squash seeds that I wanted. Uh, but they were all out of stock. So, but that's lemon squash. So we'll give it a try. When we were in Emporia this last week, and my husband sold some of our walnut wood to a a, a guy who harvests wood a lumberjack or whatever and we we have like uh he told us we have if i can remember how he called it he called it uh walnut plantation is what we have on our land there and they're really tall and no branches at the bottom so it's gonna be excellent when they get older we just need to clear out all the crappy wood that's in between the walnut trees so the walnut trees can expand, expand and grow. And when they get to be 18 inches around or bigger, then we can sell them and have money for our retirement. That's what we're hoping for. It has nothing to do with my garden seeds. It was just, we, we stopped the Blue Stem Farm and Ranch when we went to, to, to Emporia to do that. And when we sold the, the trees, we sold some of them. And we uh, got some seeds while we we're there. And that's where I got the onion seeds that I showed you yesterday. And the potatoes that I was cutting up for the garden. We also got three packages of, of garden seeds that I wanted that Baker's Creek didn't have. Which was spaghetti squash, butternut squash. And acorn squash. So we're going to have lots of squash. And the those squashes all spread out in vines. So they're going to need space. So I'll probably get some tanks. Those big watering tanks. Um, I call it a swimming pool because it's like three foot deep. And just fill them up. And then have each one of those who have their own like squash area in it. But I'm also going to plant around the watermelon plant around the corn different viney things that's prickly to help keep the raccoons out of the corn because uh, raccoons don't like the prickly plants anyway I believe that's all the seeds let's see if there's any more in the package I hope it's empty but got a pretty good got a pretty good amount of things to prepare so when it's time to go in the ground in April and May and when we plant everything of that, I have it and I pray that I keep the weeds out and the bugs out and then enjoy the harvest and help me lose the weight and start eating healthier. And I, and I challenge you to do the same thing. You don't have to grow the same thing. You grow what you want. You grow what you can. In where you live uh, even in just a small pot get you some five gallon buckets go to your grocery store and get the frosting buckets that they have in the bakery if you have a if you have a, a deli uh, where they frost their things and the empty buckets they'll give them to you pretty much for free or you can go uh, I mean any grocery store has those you can go to maybe daylight donuts and they might have some i don't know if they charge though i've never got them but i've got them from the grocery store then you just poke holes in the bottom of it with a drill so it has proper drainage fill it with your dirt 
that you mixed up your potting soil or whatever you're going to grow in and you have that bucket where you can just set it out during the day and and water it and it's on your porch or whatever and you can have a little garden one item per bucket and at least you have a little bit to start with you might not be able to do these viney things but you can do tomatoes in there or you can do carrots a few carrots in there some uh some some radishes little things like that that'll help save you some money and give you something to eat that's healthy anyway i'm trying to help you and i hope you enjoy this and please follow my channel for more fun things that i'll be doing and some things that are crazy you never know what i'm going to post on candace misfit but anyway i hope to see you the next day and i will talk to you tomorrow and have a great day ta-ta